Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hydro, and today I have six e-liquids to review for you from jvapes.com. Uh, Julia from jvapes actually messaged me and asked if she could send me some samples to review, and I definitely jumped at the opportunity, and she sent them out like lightning fast. And I was overwhelmed with the amount that she actually sent me, so much so that not only am I absolutely going to try all of them, but I'm going to review as many as I can. So I'm going to break this up into at least two videos, so maybe six this time, six uh, in a few days. And that'll at least be the majority of what she actually sent me, um, if I don't end up doing a third video with the rest of them. So, a little background on the company. It's owned and operated by two guys, John and Jordan. And they have two lounges, one in Colorado and one in Arizona. So, to me, that's good news because they're a lot closer to me than a lot of the other companies that I order from, which are on the East Coast or in the South, and takes at least a week, in most cases, to actually get my product in. Whereas with this company, they're a lot closer, so I know I'm going to get my stuff a lot faster. Um, you know, those two guys are vapors just like you and I, so they kind of know the importance of really good quality e-liquid. And I have to say, with what I've already tried, it is really good quality e-liquid. Their prices are really reasonable, too. For a 10-mil bottle, it's uh, six fifty. For a 20-mil bottle, it's $12. And for a 30-mil bottle, it's 16 So the more you buy, really, the cheaper it kind of gets. It doesn't just keep jumping up and jumping up, you know. Um, I think $16 for a really good quality e-juice for 30 mils is actually a really good deal. Um, if you go to their website, there's actually a lot more than e-juice that they have. They have variable voltage, variable wattage devices. They have mods. They have tanks. They have drip tips. They even have, like, clothing, um, ego battery holders, things like that. So they have a lot of stuff. It's really sort of like a one-stop shop uh, where e-liquid is their main focus, but they do carry other stuff, too, so... You know, while you're buying e-liquid, if you want to get like another tank or things like that, then you can absolutely do that. Uh, just going through, I was just like, there's so many things I want to buy. You know, I'm just sitting there looking at all the drip tips um, that I want to buy, um, you know, some tanks, things like that, even some of the devices. So there's a lot going on on that website, and it's really, you know, makes it really easy to use. Um, so anyway, good website, good company, shipping's fast. And thank you again to Julia for uh, hipping me to this company and sending stuff out to review. So uh, let's just uh, take a sip of coffee and sort of get right into it. All right, so the first one we're going to go over. Oh, and I should mention to you that I'm going to be vaping this on different devices and different uh, tanks, clarimizers, things like that. Um, just to kind of give you an overall idea of what you can expect depending on what you're vaping on. I try to get like a good cross section. Uh, unfortunately, I ran out of coil so or wire so I couldn't uh, rebuild the coil which I desperately need to do so I am going to be ordering some and uh, you know doing some builds and things like that so I wanted to have that so I could kind of drip and show you guys the vapor production on that too but unfortunately my coil is is done and I need to get new wire so I apologize for that so I'm going to pull up my little cheat sheet here and um, I did some paraphrasing from the descriptions on the actual website of these so the first one we're going to go over is, oh, and I can show you the bottles as well, is uh, Pursuit of Sadness. So each one of the bottles actually has like a unique little picture, logo, writing, whatever. Um, it also does give you the, uh, the milligrams and the 50-50 PGVG blend, and of course the name and all that stuff. Um, Childproof caps, and uh, most of mine have sort of the stubby dripper. I prefer the... Um, more thin drippers because they're just to me they're easier to fill tanks with. Uh, some of them do, some of them don't have that. So um, there's that. Uh, so this one is a Pursuit of Happiness, which is um, to paraphrase, sweet tobacco with darker, creamy, desserty vanilla twist. So anybody who's had an RY4, uh, this is basically their take on RY4, but instead of using like caramel in it, it's just basically like a creamy vanilla. So uh, let's check it out. I'm actually using. The uh, iTaste MVP with uh, iClear 30B. Very, very good. Um, you definitely get that sort of like quality tobacco with the. Uh, really creamy vanilla, which I really like. Uh, I feel like this is one of those things where even if you took out the tobacco flavor, just the creamy vanilla by itself could definitely easily be an all-day vape. Uh, so anybody who likes sort of like an R, RY4, 
blend. Um, this is uh, sort of their take on it with vanilla, and uh, I think it's really good. Um, incidentally, the uh, iClear 30B still performing really well. I find that oddly enough, though, I have to use if I'm going to switch tanks, I got to use the uh, iClear 30B before the iClear 30 because for some reason the the pin, I guess, on the iClear 30B is a little bit longer, so it tends to push down the center post and my uh, MVP and just kind of makes it to where I got to fiddle with it before it'll actually uh, work properly again and fire. So, yeah, I don't know if anybody else is having that same problem, but uh, yeah, Pursuit of Sadness, uh, really good, uh, really good throat hit too. So, um, again, it's 18 milligrams, so I would kind of expect that, but um, yeah, all around just that creamy vanilla especially on the exhale, just really, really good. Um, you know, so like I said, you guys, that could be your, your, all, your next all day of ape. Uh, the next one is actually the first one that I tried, and it's called Back Then. It's got a picture of a lowrider on it, so I was like, I got to try this. Um, according to the website, it is a uh, creamy, buttery dessert vape. So let's check it out. Yeah, definitely very creamy, very buttery. Um, taste is just right about where I'd want it to be. Uh, it's not overwhelming, but at the same time, it just gives a wonderful aftertaste. To me, it really tastes like butterscotch. To other people, it might not, and I didn't steep any of these, so steeping it might probably bring out the flavor a lot more. But it's... Um, I, I, I do like butterscotch, and I wouldn't have nor ordinarily thought that would be a great vape, but I just find myself craving this one over and over and over again. So it's just that creamy butter, you know, uh, that gets me. It's just that aftertaste kind of stays with you, and it's just like, you know, just um, just a lot of great flavor. And as you can see, some, some really good vapor coming out of this too. So uh, the next one we're going to do is going to be the Furry Wall which is this one right here. So let's see, furry wall as a description, um, sweet juicy papaya and other fruits. I don't have a whole lot of experience with papaya, so it's always interesting to kind of try things with papaya in it to see uh, what it tastes like. I'm using the uh, ECG variable voltage and just a basic uh, Toback BCC tank. Yeah, really good. That um, it's um, you know definitely citrusy. Uh, that papaya is really uh, really prominent, and uh, I think I might have to try papaya more often because um, this papaya just tastes like it just tastes like fresh papaya or what I would imagine fresh papaya tastes like. Uh, if it tastes anything like this vape, then it's a really good you know really good vape. Um, you know, good throat hit on all of these really. So I just kind of make that a blanket statement. Uh, I haven't had any any issues with like a mellow throat hit um they all hit pretty well um but yeah if you're if you're a fan of papaya or just sort of like a tropical um you know tropical fruit type vape then that that would be a good one for you i think uh next up is going to be uh caribou lou right here uh, i guess it's one of their more popular ones actually and the uh paraphrase the description it's a fruity drink style blend so uh this one's sort of interesting to me because I usually vape uh, Malibu by Halo, which is also like a free drink. So I was like, okay, this one I definitely have to try. Uh, this is the uh, tank that actually comes with the ECG variable voltage. So thought might as well just use the whole thing, right? Yeah, really good. Um, doesn't necessarily remind me of the Malibu uh, e-juice from Halo, but um, I would kind of put it right in there. Um, it's definitely fruity. I mean, I get more of the fruity than I do the mixed mixed drinkness of it, but that's definitely a, definitely not a bad thing. It's uh, as far as fruit goes. It definitely feels like it's uh, tastes like it's more tropical. It tastes like maybe there's some banana in there and some more exotic fruits. So, um, yeah, just another solid uh, fruit vape. Uh, next one's going to be Abilene. 
right here. They've got a few that are sort of Beatles inspired. And this one, uh, Sour Fruity Creamy Vape. So uh, just using a disposable uh, Claremizer on this one. Yeah, this one definitely tastes more of like a candy vape to me, um, like a fruit candy vape, sort of like maybe if you mixed a couple different um, Jolly Ranchers or some of that like sour candy, uh, like the sour strips, things like that. It really reminds me of that. Not as much um, sort of uh, just really, really sour, like in your face, um, but a little bit more of a subtle. So anybody who's into like candy vapes, uh, especially like sour candy vapes, uh, that would probably be a good one for you. And last but certainly not least is No Worries. Um, this one, No Worries is a sweet with a hint of berries. So I'm using the um, vape only on an Ego Twist. I've used the vape only for a while, but I, I gotta tell you, it's actually performing really well. Turn up the voltage just a little bit on this one. Yeah, definitely getting a better vapor and better throat head when I turned up to like 4.2 volts on that one. Um, yeah, this one is, um, I feel like hint of berries is a little misleading. I feel like uh, it's definitely more berries than you would think just reading that description. But it's, um, it's similar to the Abbey Lane, um, aside from it's, it's not really that sour. So this is more of a sort of a lighter berry vape, uh, if you want to look at it that way. Not really getting a, a whole lot of the creaminess necessarily, but I think maybe that's just what's making it a little bit more mellow. So it's just sort of like another good fruit vape. Um, it doesn't taste like it's more like exotic fruits per se. It's more of just like maybe some raspberries, blueberries, things, things of that nature, um, like those types of berries. Nothing, nothing overly exotic. So, um, so there it is. Those are uh, six from JVapes.com. Go check them out. Uh, once again, thank you to Julia for sending me these e-juices to review. I'm definitely gonna be buying a lot of stuff from you in the future. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully, this was informational. And educational. Um, overall, I think this is a great product. I think these are these are solid e-juices, and I'm always glad to find solid e-juice companies where I feel comfortable uh, buying stuff from because I know what to expect. Uh, check out the other flavors; they got a ton of other ones that I personally definitely want to try. Um, and let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried J Vapes, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about them. Anyway, thank you for watching, and take care.